It's fair to say the banks are well and truly on the nose with most Australians, with one exception. We've found a bank that reckons it has the happiest customers in the country. I'd love to see the happy bank competition because I'm sure we'd win. Which bank? Well, this bank. If our customers want cash, we'll have cash. A bank where cash is king and the staff never really leave. It's still a customer. <laughs> and the customers, well, they really love their bank. They're all cheerful, they're happy. You know, we're glad we've got them in town, to tell you the truth. The story starts here. He hates bureaucracy. <laughs> really hates bureaucracy. We're in Goulston in Sydney's northwest. Back in the day, it had a problem. The people weren't leaving, but the big banks wanted out. And they just pulled out of town, so it left us stranded. I came in here one Friday and there was a little old man at the teller wanting some query about his, his passport. He, he was really concerned and the girl saying, go away, oh, I haven't got time, I haven't got time, you know, just go away. And I turned around to them and I said, you wouldn't have mind waiting while this gentleman got done. And they all said, no. Well, steam come out of her ears, you know, she, she, she wasn't really impressed. And I went home to to my wife and I said, I'm going to start another bank. The service down here is no, no good. Two of us founded it, um, myself and a, and a, a produce merchant. Um, and it was one Saturday, I'll, I'll always remember it now, one Saturday morning I'd gone around to get some horse feed and just there and he said, oh, he said, you hear the um, Galston Bank's closing? Along came Dennis and Ralph. Most people around here think both should replace royalty on the banknotes themselves. We're run by the community for the community. While this bank is under the banner of Bendigo, these fellas mostly do their own thing. In fact, we're sure head office was having kittens when a current affair said it wanted to come and have a look. We've given over three million dollars back to the community, which, which is, to me, is a, is a great uh, sum of money and, and has done a lot of good in the community. Schools, the fire brigade, even the local footy club got their lives. It just made it happen straight away. Who can't be happy when you're giving money back to them? Ralph says it's as simple as listening to what people expect. And he does have a good ear. The 79-year-old, a former soundo for some of our biggest television shows. Did um, great outdoors, um, always greener. Um, yeah, what are the water rats. And right now he's playing a leading role as bank chairman in making others listen. One economist predicts the country will be cashless in the next few years. Over-the-counter transactions are no longer available at some Commonwealth bank branches. With a growing number of businesses only accepting card payments. Ralph wants people, not machines, to greet his customers. No way, he says, will cash disappear here. We get a lot of blackouts. Um, a lot of our facilities sometimes get shut off and without our cash, getting paid into the store, um, we can't operate. So cash is very, very important for us. I think the biggest mistake is going into a cashless-like society. We need cash. The world revolves around cash. KFC put a thing out saying that they were going to be one of the first food chains to go cashless. Went in there two weeks ago, guess what? The FOS machines were down and they were cash only. With the town behind him, Ralph's winning the digital war. The bank even employing two extra staff members after Debbie's departure. But perhaps the icing on the cake is a recommitment. This branch will give 80% of its profits back to those it serves. We don't do anything because the big banks are doing something. We do, we do things here because we want to do them. When we took this bank over, it had $48 million in it. We've got over $300 million now. So, uh, yeah, that's just showing community support. And you can bet your bottom dollar that won't change. Ralph's daughter Jackie joined the board to make sure Dad's legacy lives on. I'm just so proud of Dad, like, you know, what he's given back to the community. He's the quiet achiever, he really is. I'm, yeah, so proud of him. And rightly so too.